And here's my first money job, so to speak. This is the fork for the tailwheel steering. This end here fits up into the tube in the main rudder post and is bolted into it. And then these ears here hook up a, a spring and a chain and go up to the tailwheel for steering. Now on this airplane we'll make a little plate that goes underneath here that sticks out farther and then hook up the cables to it for the water rudder steering and I've just made one pass. It's just basically taken the paint off of this. I had powder coated this earlier so it's got thick paint on it and that's pretty much what I've done here now is just take the paint off and using one of these carbide tools that came in a kit. It doesn't make a very smooth cut on there but I would probably turn the speed of this up quite a bit. I'm just running it at 70 RPM just because I like to do things slow to start with. Well now I have to get the rudder down and take a measurement of the ID of that tube and then we'll take this down to that dimension. It just doesn't have to be too precise it's just a sliding fit up in there. Here's the rudder and uh, this is the tube that that fork uh, fits up into. I take my digital calipers and Take a measurement up in there. I got 780 thousandths. Oh, this is one inch. So I got 220 thousandths to take off of there. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to set this up to C1, a little faster. that down uh, to where with the dial calipers or with the digital calipers actually that it should be pretty close so I took it off of there and tried it and it'll just almost slip in there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take some sandpaper and just smooth that up again take just a little bit off with the sandpaper it's too close to try it with the lathe especially with that carbide bit on there I wound up turning the uh, RPM up to a thousand to get it to cut halfway decent and I didn't try it at 1400 it might even cut better at 1400 I don't know I tried some air tool oil which is what I had here and that didn't do much so I used some paint thinner on it and that worked really good for a cutting oil I wound up with a really smooth the smoothest surface that I di did with the with the uh, paint thinner as a cutting oil which is paint thinner is just like diesel oil or kerosene or something like that it's a little lighter than that but it's pretty close but that worked good for lubricant I couldn't go without any the first pass that I made with it, it the aluminum just welded right to the tip of the cutting tool so I had to use something in the air tool cutting oil worked a little bit but the uh, paint thinner worked better so I'm just going to take that and sand it down a little bit with some sandpaper and that uh, fork fits up in there now but there's some weld through here in a couple spots that it was hanging up on and I got it in there most of the way but it uh, it kind of scratched it up pretty good and got real tight in there so there's some weld through here where this tube is welded on to the big tube, this uh, lower one right here. And then there's some weld through where this bushing is welded on there. And uh, Otherwise it fit pretty good. It was nice and tight. I can feel it rough in there with the file. Okay, that fits in there pretty good now. It's nice and tight. It fits in there good. And a little bit of work with the file in there to get that weld uh, spots out of there and smooth that out. And uh, this fits in here. It's uh, good and tight the way we want it. Now I need to square this up with the rudder so that this is perpendicular to the plane of the rudder. And then we'll drill two holes in here and put some bolts in that to hold that in. Before I do that, I want to swab out this tube a little bit and get the dust and dirt and rust out of it and then spray it with some corrosion block in there because that will be the last time I have access to that and I don't want it rusted from the inside out. Anyway, that that worked out pretty good. That was worth the whole price of the lathe right there just to get that thing ready to go. Yeah, I like the way that fits there now. Cool. 
Okay, now we're done with that.